Welcome, welcome to Tradition Kitchen's uh, Key Lime Pie with Elaine. We are so excited. We have over 80 participants who are here right now from all over, it looks like the US. If you're just joining us, tell us in our chat where you're calling in from. We've got Dallas. Oh, we're going international. We have Ontario, Canada, Florida. Barbara from Atlanta. We've got a lot of Atlanta friends. Uh, say hello in the chat. We'd love to see you. We also do a fun tradition at Tradition Kitchens. It's a kitchen cam where we showcase our different attendees and spotlight you. So I'm going to put everyone on gallery view on the top right of your Zoom and you can look and see all the amazing people. I just wanna give you all a shout out for being on video. It's amazing to see how many wonderful um, friends and family we have. So I'm gonna start with, it looks like a family. Let's spotlight Benjamin Marlin. Hello, we've got three family members and a furry friend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> say hi to everybody. Hi, Brendan. Brendan, That's say hi. Son. Hi. Hi. Now, how do you know Elaine? Uh, hi. Mm. That's my grandson. <laughs> and here's my hamster. My hamster. Furry friend is my hamster. Aww. I love him for my fifth birthday. <gasps> Happy oh. birthday. Oh, so we got him first, but it was a few oh. ago. <laughs> yeah. Right. We're ex so Mom, we're excited to watch you make your key lime pie. Thank and we've all tried it and it's amazing. Yep, we can attest. Okay. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. It's always so fun. We have um, friends and family and former uh, teachers even. So I want to jump now to Long Island, New York. Lucy, who is another dessert aficionado. I'm going to spotlight the Niderback family. Hi, hi. Do you want to say hello? Make sure you're unmuted. Insert party music as we wait okay. for them to say hello. There okay. we go. Now we're unmuted. Now we're unmuted. Yeah. Okay. I what really want to about? make a good key lime pie. The last one I made ran down the drain. It was just a pile of, of goo. So maybe I'll I'll get a better technique this time. Amazing. And you can teach us all how to make your cheesecake, which is phenomenal. And <laughs> what was the uh, milk, hot milk cake? Um, yeah. Those are both on our uh, Tradition Kitchen's cooking library, which we'll put up. So we love having our former teachers here. So thanks for joining us and excited for today. Where, oh, <laughs> this. And yeah, you can go back on mute. All right. If you are just joining us for up to 92 participants, some of you are in your kitchen. Welcome. I'm Julia from Tradition Kitchens. Um, and we're so excited to have people from around the country. Let us know where you're calling in from. Looks like a few of you have shared. And then we love to ask people a question related to the topic of our class. So what is your favorite flavor of pie? This is a trick question. If you don't answer key lime, we kick you out of class. Just kidding. Everyone's favorite flavor of pie is welcome. And we'd love to hear what it is. So tell us in the chat. We would like to know. It looks like we have some sour cherries, some key lime fans. And we're going to do a couple of more kitchen cans to say hello to our friends from around the world who are joining us today. Um, so I'm going to quickly go on the gallery view and look and see uh, some of our guests. I see Laura is in a kitchen. So can we say hi to you? I'm gonna spotlight you, Laura Winnico. Do you wanna oh. say hello? Oh, she's gonna make it. And you're on mute. <laughs> she's, somebody's making it. I'm turning this off. Sorry about that. Hi, uh, you caught me actually squeezing lines. So yay, because you know. I can't do it ahead of time, so I do it now. And I just got off the Peloton, so I'm really sweaty and gross. I'm so sorry, but I'm really excited to learn how to make a really good key lime pie. <laughs> you look here great. In, Los, in Los Angeles. Awesome, and it's good to see you again. I know we've had you before, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love your, your classes are amazing and they have saved me during the pandemic. So I'm really, really grateful. 
Thank you so much. We love hearing that. This is like our 75th class. We have to, we've stopped counting. There's been so many. So it's great to have you and you've already worked off all the calories. So you can enjoy the key lime pie. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Well, I think we have time for one more quick kitchen cam. So I'm just taking a quick look and everyone definitely take a look in the chat and see everyone's favorite flavors of pie. We've got savory, we've got sweet. Um, which is awesome. Let's see, Deanne, looks like you are also cooking along with us. Could we say hi to you very quickly? I'm gonna spotlight you for everyone. Tell us where you're calling so in. So nice, hi, how are you? I have my gloves on. <laughs> no problem, thanks for joining us. Where are you calling in from? Thank you, from a city called Calabasas, California. I've juiced my juice. I don't know if I have too much. I figured never too much. I've grated my graham cracker and I'm on a tight schedule. So I'm hoping I can finish my pie and not have it run down the drain. <laughs> we will. Thank you so much for these classes. I shared it with so many. It's just been such a joy. Thank you for starting this. Oh, it's our pleasure. And thank you for your enthusiasm. This is awesome. We're so happy to have you and excited to get started. So we're about seven minutes after the uh, half hour. And thank you everyone for being here. Uh, we have about 100 wonderful participants on the call. And yes, there is a recipe available. I'm going to put it in the chat in just a moment. So um, my name is Julia, if we haven't met, for those who are just dialing in, and I started Tradition Kitchens with my mom, and we love learning about wonderful cooking stories and the foods and the community associated with it. So um, we are really excited to have Elaine here today. Um, if you've been on our classes before, you know we love building community. Um, it's really important for us to know who we're cooking with, which means that you can ask lots of questions. We may not get to every question right away, so please be patient with us. We do see your questions, but we also don't want to interrupt the flow of the cooking experience and the class. So just know that we may group them together. Um, and lastly, I um, want to say thank you to Elaine. Um, I feel like I can't say thank you to Elaine for teaching without backing up and saying that we, we found Elaine, Elaine found us through the wonderful Barron family. So I'm just gonna spotlight Marissa and I see Marilyn on here too. Um, and I saw Amanda walking, um, but I can't find you, but I'm gonna look for you on uh, Zoom, but thank you. If you want to say hello quickly um, and share the connection with Elaine, we would love that. And then we can toss to Elaine. I won't take up much time, but Elaine is my beautiful, wonderful aunt. And she makes delicious food, especially her key lime pie. So I'm very, very excited to see this. And I wish I was there in person so I can eat it. Thanks, Marissa. And Marilyn, you're on mute. You want to say hi? Elaine is my sister, and I think we have our whole family somehow on here. Amanda is on her way back from the grocery store. That's why she's walking, and then she's going to tune in when she gets home. Perfect. And we've had even Amanda teaching us um, from Munich in the past, so it's really amazing. Um, Tradition Kitchens is a family affair, and once you're part of our community, you're in here forever. So I see also wonderful family members, so, so hello to all of the uh, Marlin and Baron and wonderful uh, friends associated with them, and the Goldmans too. All right, with that, Elaine, I'm gonna kick it over to you. So excited and your sidekick who's assisting you this evening, your sous chef, your wonderful hubby. Um, are you ready to kick us off? Where is Elaine? Hold on, I'm looking for her so we can spotlight her for everyone. Also, I had muted you, so I think you might need to unmute on the bottom left. Sorry about that. Yep, we can't hear you. Let's see. My apologies. I can't unmute you. We had just, let's see. Yes, I think I hear you now. Do you want to say hi again? Nope. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, okay, good. 
I need my sous chef to unmute and mute because I don't work the mouse well. Um, I'm born and raised in Miami. I never got out. And, and uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a key lime pie. Um, I am going to make it from the beginning and it's going to take time. So I hope everybody's patient and I'm glad that a few people will be cooking along, but the ones that have already got things prepared, forget it because I haven't gotten anything started. So I'm, first thing I'm going to do is turn on the stove. So I don't forget to do that. And it's at 325 and I'm just preheating the stove a little, the oven a little bit. And the next thing I want to do is put a half a stick of butter. I use Kerrygold, but I don't care what you use. I, that's just what I use. And I hope you can see me. I, I put a half a stick of butter and I'm just going to heat it up for till it melts. And when I get the, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make the crust first. So I use Nabisco Graham. I, I personally, I use a packet. And I'm going to put it in the food processor. I hope everybody can hear me everything. Slippery from the butter. Sometimes it doesn't open as easily. Um, Elaine, so do you have a preference for salted butter or unsalted butter? What? Oh, my preference is unsalted. Any favorite brand? Are you a Breakstone family or Land I'm a Kerry Gold person. Once I started that, I can't go back to anything else. I agree. It's amazing. So, and we but do not have product placement for them. So maybe they'll sponsor well, us in the future. I don't know if you all can see me. I'm breaking up the pieces of the graham crackers. Of course, this, does, this doesn't open up. It's a simple pie, but there are a lot of steps. So I'm breaking this up. Can you see if I'm on showing on the screen right? Yeah, we can see you. Great. Okay, good. All right, so I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is pulse first. It's a little loud. Sing high and low, whatever you want, until it's powdery. So it's powdery. And then I'm going to put it in a bowl. And I I am going to rinse this out because I'm going to reuse. I'm going to reuse this food processor. And then the butter is just about melted. There's some parts that aren't melted, but in the interest of time, I'm going to pour, then I'm going to add. No, I'm not going to let it cool off in the interest of time or that would be another half an hour. So if, if you want to do it right, let the butter cool off a little bit, but I'm a little, I don't have the patience. All right. And then, and I'll show you my preference for cinnamon is Spice Island. It could be any brand you want. And I'm going to use a, a half a tablespoon, not teaspoon, a half a tablespoon because I happen to love cinnamon. Of course, it's not going to come out very good. Okay. So then I'm, I'm mixing up the butter, the cinnamon, and the graham crackers really well. It's a little dry. Don't worry about it. And I did tell you preheat the oven to 325. Okay, now pie plates. 
I like to use a glass plate. I think this is a nine inch, but if you have an eight inch, that's fine. And I also, I'll show you one at the end. I, if you want to take this as a present or somewhere, just put it, hold it one second. You can just buy these pie pans and these come out really well too. And then you have a nice container to take your pie if you're taking it to someone, somebody. Okay, then I don't know if you can, hopefully you can see me. Um, scary, this has a, it's not on. Okay. okay, now I'm gonna put this, you don't have to oil or butter the bottom of the pie, the glass pan. And then I'm going to just, can you see, I'm just patting it down evenly and you want to give it, put it up the edges. Can you see? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it like that for a few more minutes. Um, Elaine, if someone has just graham cracker crumbs, do you have a sense of what the equivalent might be from a package? I'm sorry to tell you, I don't. Uh, well, use your best it's, judgment. It's yeah. usually written on the box. Okay, maybe a cup. I, you know, if it's on the box, I can find it. Uh, it's well. Now this is just for the recipe. Uh, actually, I don't see it. But I bet if you, if you, you know, write the company, they'll tell you in two seconds. But I like to use. I mean, I just. I think just going that extra step and making from real graham crackers and they're a great snack anyway. So now I don't, can you see, this is the pie crust. It's not perfect, but it's, it's you know, flattened out and around, up and around the edges. So I'm gonna cook this for 10 minutes at 325. It's preheated. Now the next step is, um, I cut some of the, now I'm going to tell you the, if you can find key limes, uh, that's, that's the first preference. I would like to just real quick, I should just really start cooking, but um, just look. This is what key limes, I don't know if anyone can see, this is what real key limes look like right off the tree down in Miami or Homestead or the Keys, beautiful yellow. But what I can only find are the ones from Mexico, but this is, some of them have turned a little bit. This is what, they're very small, they're very tart. Now the next step I'm gonna do is a little time consuming. So I hope people are cooking with me. Um, I like to, I wash them off really well and I, you can, you know, rub these a little, roll them so that there's a little more juicy. And then I'm going to just start cutting. Cut them in half. I'm going to cut them in half. And then I'm going to, I'll show you how I squeeze them. Can you, can you think it's able to see? Hmm. Is anybody cooking? Yeah, we have a few people who are cooking with yeah, us. This, this is really a little tedious, but I decided not to do it in advance. Yeah, we're seeing the authentic style, which is yeah, awesome. cutting nice. And then I'll show you how I squeeze them. Um, now, I don't know if a bag. I don't know if a bag is enough. I usually buy two bags of key limes because you never know how much you're going to take. I, I use um, I fill it up to two thirds, which is pretty tart, and. And the next thing I'm going to show you, so it's two thirds of a one of a cup. And I use this, I really like this squeezer, but I also bought an, another one that's pretty cool, but I really don't, I prefer my regular squeezer. And I forgot, forgot to put the sugar in the, in the pie crust, but that's okay. Um, so one at a time, tedious. If you have somebody that you, that, you can have help you do this it saves a lot of work so i just if, does anybody have any questions because i'm just going to be squeezing these until i get to two-thirds of a cup okay. yeah as you get to that um i just want to make a quick 
reminder to all of our guests. We have some people who are here for the first time, some who have, are regulars. We appreciate everyone being here. Um, but our classes are all about uh, learning with your neighbors. So this experience is like if we live next door to Elaine and it wasn't the pandemic and we were just hanging out in her kitchen. And that's what we're trying to recreate. Um, oh. So um, that is why there's a lot of learning on the go and um, you're experiencing it all live. So we appreciate you all going with the flow. And that, that's what I was gonna say too, Julia. And yeah. a few people have already said it while I'm squeezing these. How much I've gotten out of your classes with my niece's zoodles from Munich and the peach, the cobblers, and I mean, the, the recipes are fantastic, but what I like, the, I think the people that present are amazing. And I, I wasn't gonna be one of those presenters, but everybody else really shared with them, of themselves and, and their stories were pretty cool. And I really appreciate all the wonderful classes I've sat in for tradition kitchens it's really amazing i'm glad i know about it yeah we're so glad and it's been wonderful to get to know you and um so many other people so um i'm gonna ask a couple of these questions and then we want to hear more about your story because we're so excited to oh, have you um, so a few questions just around some people might not be able to find limes could they use bottled lime juice or any other idea? oh i'm sorry go ahead no, any other ideas for a substitute uh, or in, I don't know. Uh, Does anybody else have, maybe somebody else has. I, I, I'm so spoiled because I've always had limes down here, so I don't ever have to substitute, but I really don't, maybe regular limes, but I'm a, I'm a fan of key limes, especially the yellow ones. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I don't like bottled. I, I used to use that in the old days and it just, to me, it tastes rancid, but. Yeah. Um, and I think like, um, also like for some of these things, we, we use good old fashioned Google to help us get the solution. So you, we can crowdsource this and see, see what maybe food 52 says. Um, what about the rind of the, of the juice, of the lime? Will that bring more flavor? That's a question. Keith, thanks for that question. I don't know. It, it's it's going to be it's tart enough, and I don't know that I would want to put it in. But that would probably be pretty. It, it would be a nice topping, maybe scrape, uh, you know, shave it on top. I really don't know the answer to that. I just I try to get as much juice out, but I don't use the rind. And little by little, when there's seeds that build up in here, I just put it all in. I don't know. I've never used the rind, but. You certainly could try it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Those are so those key limes have a lot of seeds, so it's sort of a. And I just found a great recipe that actually talks about using lime juice. So I'm going to put that in the chat too okay. um, for people. So it says you can do it. So if you've got the lime juice, uh, take a look at that. See what the alternative equivalents are in terms of measurements. And Publix sells. Um, I, I looked at about four, I mean, I called about four stores to see if anybody carries the, the key line, key, key line from the keys. Nobody carries them anymore. That used to be easier to find them. But if you can try it with key limes sometime and see the real limes and see if you'll, you'll notice the, t the taste difference, I think. This so how, how did you, um, get into key lime pie? Is it that you are spend time in the keys or what's your no, connection? No. <laughs> uh, well, when, when uh, we bought our house, there was a key lime tree, which I didn't even, I know a, a friend that I taught with, she always came over and took a lot of limes, asked if she could have limes. I'm thinking, well, I don't know what to do with them. And then when my kids were growing up, they had contests who could pull limes off and we have a canal and they would just see who could throw the limes into the canal the farthest. And I still didn't know about making a pie. And then one day I read it in the Miami Herald, there was a, an, uh, a recipe and I tried for two pies and I broke it into one and I sort of tweaked it through the years and made it my own, even though it's not mine. And uh, once I started making them, Oh, and then um, another story, then our key lime tree died. 
And then a neighbor of mine down the street had a beautiful key lime pie up until about two years ago. He had his cut down tree. <laughs> key lime tree, sorry. And um, he's so nice. And every time he saw me taking the limes, never from his tree, but the ground. And it got to the point where he would bring over big bags of limes for me. So I've always, I have, I've always had plenty of the real key limes. Until now. Let's see how far. Oh, we're only at one third. That's gonna take a while. Um, did that did that buzzer go off really? Yeah. Elaine, how long have you been making the pie for? Um, I'd say the recipe itself is almost 30 years old from the Miami, Miami Herald, and that's about how I've been making it that long. And I like to you can bring it as gift. Oh, and another story is um, a neighbor, a couple of people have been gracious enough to give me mangoes from their trees. So <laughs> as a thank you, I, I always reciprocate and make a pie for them and bring it over. So mangoes for key lime pie, but I've been doing it about 30 years or 28 or 29. You like mangoes? I do like mangoes. <laughs> That's the only, I don't know, anybody else, have any, is anybody cooking along or not? Any other questions about Shovel Up? Is there anything that people thought about, would like to hear about a little bit more? What? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Why do you shouldn't, uh, so many of them do? I think somebody is not on mute. I'm going to mute someone. I think they're talking about another event. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I love questions because this is, you know. Yes. Okay. How does your recipe differ from other recipes? Like what makes this one really special? Well, I, um, mine is very simple and very tart. And my mother, who's no longer alive, who always tastes my pie and she would say, she would always comment, it's so tart. But if you use less, it's going to be sweet, but I don't think it's going to give you this so mine, are, mine is tart, mine is very plain. I don't ever top it with whipped cream, maybe. I don't know why, I just, I sort of just like it because I think that the crust and the pie is enough. That's how mine is different. I don't put, um, what's it? The, I don't put the meringue topping that some plate, some restaurants have. And I don't like the taste of it. Are we near two thirds yet? <laughs> Yeah, you can sell this stuff. Yeah. Any other questions? I guess there's not much to. Let's see. Um, not at the moment, okay. but I'm going to take okay. a. I'm, I'm almost a, there. Yeah, let's see how everyone is doing. I'm going to quickly do some the kitchen cam viewing to see uh, who's okay. cooking along with us. Let's okay. see. No, I'm not going to shut up the stove. I just have to be out of it. Hard to see who's cooking. Denise, you are cooking with us. How is it going? You want to unmute and let us know any questions or concerns? I'm adding Mary also. I'm not going to turn it off. Hi. Um, this is my first time um, with this group and just having a good time. I didn't know. Sorry, my light is blurry. Um, didn't know what to expect. So... I thought I would try and cook along oh, good. Um, and having a really good time. The friend of mine talking about community friend of mine, Amy, who told me um, about the class um, is uh, celebrating the birth of her first grandchild. So I don't think she's even on tonight, but she made me promise that I would um, text her or give her a call and tell her how it went. So I'm, I'm really grateful that um, that she told me about the class and we're part of a New Year's Eve kind of group of um, four or five couples that get have been getting together for about 10 years for New Year's Eve. We kind of rotate houses and our favorite dessert for New Year's Eve is key lime pie. Oh, okay. So we've Good. been, I'll whisper this, we've been getting a grocery store version. <laughs> <laughs> and no. then during Never. COVID, Amy started, 
playing around with homemade key lime. And so when she said, I'm taking this key lime, you know, cooking workshop, I'm like, oh yes, yes, I have to do that. That's no, no, pot, no, no uh, Winn-Dixie or Publix key lime. No, it, well, it's Mrs. It's Edwards. Is oh, okay, maybe Mrs. Edwards. Who knows? Any, and anyway, here, this is just cooked for 10 minutes. And again, if you want to let it cool off and you have all the time in the world, feel free to let it cool off. But I'm going to be, when the pie mixture is ready, I'm going to add it. Now, the next step is. Um, I'm going to take all of our friends off of the spotlight, but any questions from those who are cooking along, Susan, Carol, Laura, Renee, Sharon, Mary, otherwise uh, we'll come back to check in on you. Looks like you all are good. Thanks for sharing that story, Denise. It looks like there is an Amy here, but I don't know if that's your friend, so we'll have to find out. Uh, all right, Elaine, back to you. Okay, so now I'm going to separate the eggs because you only need three egg yolks, only the yolks, and there's everybody has their own way of getting the yolks and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't this is my like 50 year old tupperware egg separator that doesn't look used even but it so i'm going to do one that way and they will so you need three egg yolks and then the egg whites, I always make an omelet. I love them, so that's my favorite. So that's one egg yolk. Or sometimes I just put it in my fingers and let it separate that way. It works really well. I don't know if you could see that. Go refrigerate that. Okay, so the hard part was squeezing, the, the tedious part was squeezing the lines. That's done. And then the third, so there's the lime juice, the egg yolks, and I use Carnation, but if you want to use any brand you want, sweetened condensed milk. I use one, one 14, was it 14 ounce? One 14 ounce can. I taught my three nieces how to, to make this and they, they know how to do it now. So they're on their own, right girls? Okay. <laughs> Let's see, I think the family might want to lean on your expertise. <laughs> sure. Okay, so now actually I am at the point where I'm going to take the egg yolks into the processor. And then um, you can use, uh, you can use a oh. fork and, oh, oh, I don't know, Gary, I don't know. I don't know, Gary. I don't know. I really don't know. You're going to have to turn it to yourself and figure it out. It's coming in fine. It is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can't see you all. Okay, so thank you, Ben. Um, you, can, you can use a whisk or a fork or whatever. I use the food processor, but because there's only three eggs, I have to um, tilt it a little bit so that the eggs get mixed for about two minutes. So I'm just going to break it up a little and then, yeah, we lost the picture. I don't know what happened. That's okay. We can see you. Okay. So sometimes I tilt it. I have used four yolks before. I don't think it makes much of a difference, but I just stick with three. So you don't want it to get really whipped up. You just want it to mix up. So now it's kind of easy. And then after that, you this is how I do it. I can't see myself doing it, but anyway. So I take the sweet and condensed milk and I pour it in.
a little messy. Now, the next step is like this. Kind of messy. Again, if you want to let the uh, pie crust cool, you want to turn it this way, Walter? And now I have this. I don't know if you can you see what a beautiful color that is? I don't know if you can yeah. see. Yeah, yeah, definitely very beautiful and nice uh thick consistency and then i'm going to pour it in this part's this is pretty much easy after you do squeeze those lines so the real key lime pie filling it has to be yellow right auntie elaine yes is that maya Yes. yes. Don't Hi, Maya. <laughs> yes. I'll show it to you. And I, I don't, I'm not like a stickler. I don't have to get every little bit out. It doesn't matter. And uh, let me just show you in the camera and then hopefully this will get in without me spilling it. So this is what, it, can you see the, it's going in the oven. Uh, between 13 and 15 minutes, stay, the oven, leave it on from the 325. And then what I do now is wash everything off, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's it. And um, I'm going to watch what I have here. There's another very important part of it. You can't eat it for three hours. I want to make sure I say that. I want to cut it. So now here, this is ready to take to someone that you, I am, I want to show them how it's in there. How long do you, um, after you cook it, do you chill it? Do you like to yes, chill Yes, that's a lot, that's very important. And I was going to say, um, it has to chill for three hours. So unfortunately, you can't eat it tonight unless you're a, a night owl. And I don't know, can you see? This is it, and I'm going to cut it a slice. It looks amazing. So, I mean, even if that other one that's in there, did, did I probably didn't even put the timer on. <laughs> I'll put it on for uh, 12 minutes. But I may not need the, okay, I'm not going to cut this. If you want, you could cut the pie in half and quarters. You don't have to, but I do. And then I'm going to cut a slice. Does it ship well to Atlanta? Who asked me that? <laughs> Marissa. <laughs> no. I'd have to bring it in a plane. But you girls have had it here often enough. I know that. So next time you're down. And um, I want to show you what a slice looks like. I think that's, I don't know how the, if you could see the coloring, it's just, and the consistency. I might have to try it. Now, hold on a second. Um, you can certainly decorate if you want. You can decorate your pie or your slice. 
and put a few pieces of fruit. But again, I don't use the whipped cream, but my God, most everybody loves whipped cream, so go right ahead. And I'm not a designer, so there it is. There's, I like it with fruit or whatever. And I actually, we may not, you know, if you want to, if you don't want to wait for me to take it out of the oven, this is really what it looks like. But it's up to you, Julia. Um, well, I think we have some questions. So let's see oh, if we can sure. answer a few of these. Um, I don't know. I've been trying to Google this, but we we're, there's curiosity around lime, the color, like why are some key lime pies really very green? Do we think that it's food coloring? It, it must be. Yeah. Probably. Key limes, the insides are, they're always, they, they do look green, but they, when you squeeze them, it's, it's pretty clear. Oh, let me see. And then we have a cooking question. I'm going to ask Hello. Melissa yeah. is having a, a challenge. Um, oh. It sounds like after 15 minutes, the pie's filling is a bit liquidy. Should it be baked more? And Melissa, if you can turn on your video, I'm happy to pin you and we can talk through it. The well, slice, the slice. Um, is, this is a sort of an unusual question, but is your oven working well? I mean, that's just one reason. Um, by 14 minutes, it should really be, after you let it sit in the refrigerator for three hours, I can't even imagine it. I mean, it's really, it has a really great consistency. Show the pot. So I'm pretty sure my uh, oven is working fine. So do I need to bake it more or just put it in the fridge? Oh, you have to put it in the refrigerator for at least three hours overnight. If you want to put it in the, if you want to put it in the freezer, I have, oh. That's another thing. It freezes really well and you can slice when it does have the right consistency and it's frozen, then you could cut, you could um, wrap the pies separately and put them in a freezer bag, saran wrap or plastic wrap and then in a freezer bag and have the pie last for a week. Every night have a little dessert. I don't know what to say. If you use exact, if you follow my recipe, I really, and you let it, set for three or three hours or overnight it shouldn't be runny i don't know what to say i will experiment with it let, thank you if, thank you i hope it comes out yeah keep I us posted delicious. um you can also email us um with your pictures afterwards or tag us on instagram to let us know how your pie turned out we would love to see we are Tradition Kitchens on Instagram. I'll put our handle in the chat. Any other questions or anyone want to kind of show off their progress to us if you've been baking along? There was a question about if someone was using a food processor versus uh, something else. Um, Real quick, can you see the pie in the oven here? How nice it's setting up? Yes. Okay, I'm still cooking. Um, a food processor, you can use a whisk. You can use electric mixer. It doesn't matter as long as you're mixing the eggs. And then even from the original recipe that I got all those years ago, which is, I'm not gonna tell you, but the restaurant's still in business, but they say the same thing. You can use whatever, you can use an electric mixer hand. I mean, you can just whisk it. As long as you're mixing the egg yolks and then you do the um, sweetened condensed milk and then you pour in the lime juice and mix it up. Doesn't matter how you, what you use really. And any other questions? I think, I don't, what? Oh, sorry. Um, Elaine, Adam had a question. I yes. think, I can't remember what it was. Something like, do you notice the difference between when you used to make it with your neighbor's key limes versus the new key limes you're getting. Is it better or worse? I I think it tastes the same, but when you're sitting there cutting those yellow limes right off the tree, it's just you could it makes me very happy. I, I think it's the same taste. I don't know. I remember when you said you used to go to your neighbors and get the key limes. <laughs> For years. I would imagine you sneaking over there in the middle of the night. <laughs> no. He my neighbor, I, I was telling the audience that 
And then every time I did, he did give me some, I would make a pie and he want, I gave him a whole pie once and he said, no, he only wants one slice. And he's and a little bit of an elderly gentleman, but he used to bring me bags of key limes. So he didn't mind, he never mind, he always used to say, take the limes <laughs> every time he saw me walking by. And it's such a beautiful tree and such a beautiful fruit. Did the tree die? Yeah, they took the tree down. Just like our tree died. And then yeah. Elaine, I, one of your nieces asked a question. Oh, can you tell the story about your apron? I don't know what that is, but where you got my that? apron? Mm -hmm. I I imagine I got it in Provence. Okay. Yeah. You might have gotten it in Provence in 1999. <laughs> and I probably got these in Provence the same year. Oh yeah, so we. Marissa and Care, my daughter Karen and my sister Marilyn and I took a really wonderful trip, a bus trip around France, Jolie, France. It was really nice. <laughs> and uh, and the kids slept. You might be able to tell them I like Pro Provence artwork and lemons and whatever. But uh, and I you have an oven mitt that matches. Looks like I do. I do. Love it. See, so, it's like we're really in your kitchen. <laughs> and my kitchen's very clean. <laughs> I, I, if That's only we could scratch and sniff and smell the amazing pie. <laughs> it's amazing. It's really amazing. And I mean, the fruit is okay, but the, the star, or you can even squeeze the, the, the star is the line, the key line. So, I'd love to know if anybody makes it and it comes out really well. Yeah, everyone will have to keep us posted. And there's lots of curiosity around limes. So we'll all have to do a bit more research because we're not uh, plant experts. But I think the global supply chain does send limes around the world, even if they are not in season. Um, yeah. So I think they can likely be found in stores, even though they might not be. Oh, I was going to show you that. Let me show you. Uh, that's a very, I, I, I'm glad you asked me that way because if Publix, you know, you might think that they're not there, but if you look carefully, you're going to, you're going to see, and it's uh, different brands, Coast Tropical, and some of the limes are larger, so you only would need one bag, but the smaller limes, I always buy two so I don't run out. What is Publix? Pub, they, everybody knows what Publix is. Does that, is there anybody that doesn't know what Publix is? Just in case, tell us, give us a Publix it's, Plus it's for a, all of it's us. It's a grocery chain that's all throughout Florida. I know it's in Georgia because my daughter goes there and Maryland and they all. Publix. Like a We're grocery. shopping at the pleasure. Uh, it's Probably. one of our favorite grocery stores yeah. if you're in the South. But yeah. everyone's got their favorites. Some people yeah. love Wegmans. I'm a fan. Wegmans. Let us know. In the chat, if you have a favorite grocery store, let's see. Um, I think we'll do a quick scan, but I think we're ready to kind of log off and let people um, follow up and keep us posted. But anybody want to show off like what their pie looks like before it goes in the fridge? I'm, I'm I think I'm taking around. my pie out anyway. I might put it back in. Catherine, I've spotlighted you, giving a few people some heads up who look like they've been cooking along with us. Um, Annika, are you cooking? You are. Okay. Couldn't Annika. Help. Let me look here. Hi, Hi and Annika. Sharon. <laughs> I regret Ooh. to inform that I cheated and got a pre-made pie crust. And we don't have key limes here in Ohio that I could find. So it's not going to be as good as yours, but I, I figured I'd give it a try anyway. Oh, very nice. Wow. Very pretty. And don't forget to let it set for three hours. Don't be, or put it in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, let's see. I'm trying to capture. And also nobody hang up because I have to take our selfie. I forgot to take it. I'm running this on my own. Usually we have a kitchen ambassador to help me, um, but, I f but I forgot to take our class picture. Um, so we'll, We'll spotlight everyone. Um, everyone on here, you want to show anything off? It looks really, really good. Mary, wow, check it out. I love it. Oh, that's beautiful. Show me again. That's very nice. And the key lime. Yeah, that's a beauty. That's a big, wow. that's, is that a 10 inch pan? I, I, I'm, she's shaking her head, but we can't hear her. 
it's a big, that's a beautiful glass dish. It looks large. <clears throat> oh, Mary, you're on mute. Can you unmute? Or we can't hear you, which is so weird. Hmm. Hopefully you'll come back. Oh, let's see. Can't hear you. We'll have to come back to you. I'm so oh. sorry. But your pie looks beautiful. Beautiful. It looked really nice. Here's what I'm going to do. If everyone could just turn on their video, um, Diane, Susanna, Marilyn, there's a bunch of you. Adam, come closer to the camera. Kim, Eva, Cheryl, just turn on your video for a minute. We'd love to take our selfie. I forgot to take it. It's basically everyone smile at your camera and we take a fun photo of the group as a souvenir and then you can find it on social media. Melissa, you're our one holdout. I've got you, uh, I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, well. All right. So I'm going to count us down. Three, two, one. Hooray. And one. Oh, wait, Melissa, you just turned on your video. Fantastic. Melissa and friend. Hold on one more. And three, two, one. I love it. And I see so many more people. So I'm going to take one more. I'm trying to capture everyone. Three, two, one. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. This was so fun. Elaine, you are amazing. I'm so glad that you taught and shared this incredible recipe with us and your story. Any final questions for you from our, our guests? Otherwise, we can't wait to see. Renee, did you have a question? Do you wanna unmute or you're just waiting? I can't tell. Can't tell. Feel free to unmute if you have a question. All right. <laughs> I have a question. Okay, yes. So I got uh, my turn. You are, your audio is cutting anyway, in my line came from Mexico. The limes. My limes came from Mexico. Everybody are those from real key limes or not? Yes. And yes, they are real key limes and that's what I okay. use too. They're dead key limes. And I keep mine in the refrigerator. I don't know if I oh, left them out. Looks like the same bag. I went to Walmart. If, if you get a few that have a little yellow in it, you feel more that they're more authentic. And I'll say, I forgot to say one more thing. After you bake the pie, let it sit out for about 15 minutes because you don't want to put it in the refrigerator hot. So I always let mine sit out for about 15 or 20 minutes, put my timer on so I don't forget, and then refrigerate overnight or for a few hours, okay? Asking about your pie crust. I added the, the uh, butter to it and thought it would set up in the oven, but it didn't. It's pretty crumbly. I made up, may end up with pudding. Really? Um, yeah. You used to have a stick of butter? You know, I had a pound of butter. So you then know. they told me. You gotta read the recipe. You have to no, follow no. I buy my butter in a pound chunk. Oh, okay. Well. Uh, so uh, then four ounces. Four tablespoons. Four table, I'm sorry, four tablespoons, not four ounces, four tablespoons. Okay, then I must have used too many graham crackers because oh it didn't, it, it's pretty crumbly. Yeah. Okay, try again. <laughs> but I tell you what, your filling is awesome. I lick the beaters. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. If you don't have pie, make it into pudding. Uh, perfect plan. Well, thank you. Yes, go ahead. Thing, please. What? Sorry. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I got interrupted with the work call. Um, how many packages of grain crackers? When I started with one, it wasn't enough to fill the bottom. So I put in two packages. There's three packages in the Nabisco box. Yeah, I have. I know. And I, I actually, I actually use one at a time, but you can use more if you wanted to. So it'll go off the sides of the pipe. How big, how big is your pie pan? I thought it was nine inches. If it's 10 inches, that is why. But you can use you can use two, that's okay. Use as many as you want. And then whatever you don't, doesn't fit in the pie pan, just eat because it's delicious with the butter and the crust and the cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I used regular lime, so I think it might be a little tart, but it's a good first start. Um, and I, um, I had to just put it in right when the crust was hot because I got delayed because my yeah, crust I wasn't did too. Right. So I did too. Okay. I'm okay. Thank you so much.
You're welcome. Thank you. This Oops. feels like the Butterball hotline for turkeys, but this is the pie version. Okay. So. I just got it in the oven. If I may, if I may add a, a, a suggestion for afterwards. So what I've done when I made pies is I've used a slice, thrown it in the blender with a, with a scoop of ice cream or milk or water, and it makes incredible smoothies. Mm. Keith, yeah. coming over. Austin, right? <laughs> Sounds delicious. I love it. Okay. Um, who thought that squeezing the limes was tedious? <laughs> that's that's the part. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got some hands waving around okay. that one. Right. <laughs> that's why you have your kids do it. Yeah, or there's <laughs> significant others. <laughs> I tell them about my lemon meringue pies. I, I loved, it's Vera. I love lemon meringue pie. And when the kids were in school, I would make them. So when I'd, I'd take them out of the oven and I'd slice it because, ooh, I have to have a slice. So then it started to cave in. So then I had to even it and it kept caving in. And then I couldn't leave just half a pie left. So I ended up eating the whole thing. <laughs> Oh boy. Because it was like, it, I couldn't leave any because then they're going to see who ate the rest. And then I'd have to say, I did, I did. So it was terrible. So yes, you do need to let it cool before you slice it. Yes. Mo most important. Yes. <laughs> well, Elaine, there's, uh, there's been some requests here. Uh, do you or anyone know how to make a chocolate cream pie for a future class? Ooh. Let us know if, uh, Elaine, that might not be your specialty, but no. if someone else does, um, our classes are all taught by volunteers. So some of you have been messaging us and asking how you could sign up. We would love that. Um, I'll put our email and you'll get an email from us um, if you wanna volunteer to share your recipe and your story. Um, our next class is just was just released yesterday or the day before and um, we have almost uh, sold out but don't worry we will open up more tickets um it will be an exciting sesame and peanut butter um noodle class with lee sun very excited he's going to teach a taiwanese uh, favorite of his and we can't wait for that and then we're working on our other classes for the rest of uh the summer so we're still here and excited to cook with everyone you're really great Oh, thank you. We're only great because of the community that joins us. So with that, Elaine, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. You can show your appreciation with hearts or party horns with the Zoom. Um, and feel free to let us know how your baking goes or watch any of our videos to catch up on past classes. So I'll put that link in the chat for everybody. But have a great evening or wherever you are. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye -bye. Here Julia. is our link, and I'm going to hang up. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. For... Bye, Julia. Thank you. Bye.